Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to the Optimistic Survival Series. Today we are going to build a concrete building, just a small structure that we can make concrete in. I am not planning on using concrete for any mega projects in the future, so this will not be too elaborate but it will serve as a place where we can create our concrete powder and place that down and turn it into concrete. I'm building it right here in our sort of industrial zone, I guess is what we are calling this, right across from our lumber yard in this plot right here. Of course, we've already marked it out. I have gone ahead and created a design that I am happy with in creative mode. So that is what we are going to roll with. It is a brick structure with a blackstone roof outlined by stone brick. On the inside, it is actually a lot of wood because I want to be able to instant mine or at least almost instant mine that concrete. So I placed wood around so we don't accidentally break any other blocks but I'm going to gather up a few resources for this. I don't know how much brick we actually have, if any. We do have quite a bit of terracotta. I don't know if that is useful to us though. Let's take a look in the crafting table at how to make brick. And it looks like the only way is with those smaller individual bricks which those do not have a crafting recipe. So we will need to gather a bunch of those. I don't know if I have all that much clay either. I do not. And we have silk touch on the shovel. So I might need to grab a secondary shovel and we will head to the ocean or a river and dig up some clay. Of course, I just realized there could be one other place where we might have those bricks. I'm not seeing them back here. Building materials, this could be it. Bricks, here we go. Well, that will certainly not be enough, but it's nice to know that we have a chest there dedicated to those bricks. I may end up moving them to natural resources, but I feel like they also make sense back there. Let me grab a shovel and we will just see what we have. Fortune three, efficiency four, that will work. And let's head over to a nearby river. I think we will actually travel in this direction as we have a river right down here. I'm gonna grab a bunch of bricks. We will get those put into our super smelter and we will get to work on our concrete plant. And we have built with bricks before, but they have pretty much been exclusive to chimneys. Of course, we have this chimney right here on the barn, and we have one on the windmill right up here. So while this will be our first all brick structure, it should fit in very nicely. Of course, I al already having built it, I have seen how it kind of fits into the land and I think it works quite well. The red definitely matches with the red that we have over here, and I have a stone brick outline, so it all flows into this next region quite nicely. I'm gonna grab some shears to get rid of all of this wool, and I will definitely need more bricks than what we already have, but 50 should be enough to get us started. So we're gonna begin with the corners and these are actually brick walls. This is gonna help give it a little more depth. I realized I only need 16. And this will help break up, again with bricks, it's a very repetitive pattern. So I'm trying to break up the pattern as much as possible. One of those ways is by using walls here. Of course, we've already done this for the chimney up that way and I think the one on the barn I don't remember off the top of my head but we will sprinkle in some granite as well plus it helps us save resources so that will be very convenient so we have the corners put up nice and simple and then I guess we can just work on the front facade so that we can 
get a better idea of how this is going to look a little bit quicker. So it's going to be a three block wide door and then we're going to have a few one block wide windows just like this. These will actually be surrounded with some brick stairs. They will both be upside down, the bottom and the top, and it will it will really help give a little more depth to this build. Again, all about breaking up these brick patterns here. And then bricks on those top walls as well. And a few more right here around where the door will be. For the door itself, it will actually be sort of an arch, and this is going to be an open concept, similar to our lumber yard right here. So no actual physical door on it, which of course does increase the chances of monsters getting in, but that is also why I've gone ahead and chosen a pattern for the street light that we will start to populate around our town. And yes, I am going to start calling it a town, I think we have enough buildings and paths and development to consider this a town now. Plus we even have villagers, so we have a population growing as we speak. And just as I suspected, we did run out of bricks pretty quickly, so I will grab whatever we have. They should be done. Our super smelter, of course, goes very quickly, so I may already need to go find some more clay. Although it looks like they are actually still cooking, and we actually have quite a bit of clay left, so I don't know. Maybe we will be okay by the time we get all of the granite placed in. We will continue these bricks going all the way around. And actually, I forgot, there is a large region right here in the back where our water tank, our water reservoir, will live. So we actually don't need these middle five blocks to be filled in with bricks, which again will really cut down on resources and... I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good. I think that we will be okay on bricks. So we will have a couple of tall windows there in the back. This side right here, because it is adjacent to our future mud plant, this will be solid bricks right here. So we will need quite a few for that. But over here, again, same thing. We will have some windows instead of a solid wall. And you heard me earlier mention a reservoir tank that will be built out of polished deep slate, but I do not have any polished deep slate. I have normal deep slate and I don't have any cobbled deep slate. So I'm going to make a quick trip down to the mine and gather up a bunch of that. I think we will also need a little bit more clay. As for the stone bricks, we have plenty of stone, so we should be good on that and the roof will be blackstone. I'll have to double check our blackstone quantities. But let me go grab all of these resources real quick and then we'll finish up that build. I seem to have misplaced my netherite pickaxe, my fortune, oh wait, hang on. There it is, never mind, all right, <laughs> carry on. I just dug right into an amethyst geode, actually. Hang on, we're gonna, carefully break our way into this, being careful not to break any of the budding amethyst. And because it has been in loaded chunks this whole time, or semi-loaded chunks, we have quite a bit of amethyst down here that we can harvest. So this is sort of an unintended consequence, but I am not complaining. Well, we did pretty good for ourselves. 34 clusters, I didn't want to break those with our fortune quite yet in case we want to use those for some decoration or something. So we have used up all of the bricks just as I suspected. I guess we do have those five that go across the top, but I got enough cobbled deep slate now and we can start to build our water reservoir. Now this is partially aesthetics and partial use. You will see sort of what I'm talking about. I guess this itself does not have a use. It is really just going to be the blocks around it. 
So this will be built up fairly tall, but from the front of the structure you won't be able to see it, only from the side and the back. I think we'll go ahead and throw one more row on the very top and we will adjust as we decide. So with those five bricks, I can almost finish off the front of this. Of course, I still need to get a few more stairs right in there. And I'm doing a triangle roof, a peaked roof at the middle, so we will also need some bricks to fill in that wall. But again, we will grab those in a little bit. Now we can start to frame out the roof. Now, as I said, we are using stone bricks for this. I do not have any, so I will go grab some stone. So the stone bricks, I just realized I've already messed that up. The stone bricks will be placed from this side and meet in the middle on the sides of the building, just alternating upside down and right side up. And in the front, I am actually doing a dormer. So we will have this come off of the side right here. And again, already messing stuff up. So I believe it will be like this, I think. No, I need to go back one more. I'm not building this with any pictures. I'm just going from memory, so. It's a little more challenging. Normally I have the picture pulled up right next to it so I can see what I'm doing. But trial and error, and we get it figured out. And then in the middle, just an upside down stair, we will get a slab thrown on there. Excellent. And then we can work on the backside. When I was testing this out in creative, I did try placing some campfires in our little water reservoir just to make everything look more industrial, but it really doesn't make that much sense. So I got rid of them. We will not have any smoke coming out of our water reservoir. Of course it could be steam, but I don't think that hot boiling water is being used. I could be wrong. I should really double check on that, but I think it's just normal water for concrete. So we'll get this built up to the middle and then we will place in our blackstone stairs. Now, I normally use just the default blackstone. I can't see any roofs from here, but I have used that, I think, right? I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm almost certain I have used blackstone, just the normal blackstone before. I'm gonna use blackstone bricks this time. We're gonna mix things up a little bit. I think the normal blackstone looks great if we're trying to recreate that asphalt roof look, but this is a lot more industrial. We need a little bit more than an asphalt roof. So we are gonna go with the bricks, which I do not have any blackstone. I will go grab that next and probably get a little bit more clay so we can finish up these walls. And let's see how we are doing on blackstone in here. Oh, perfect. That's a lot more than I thought we would have. We'll take that stair as well. We will need it. Excellent. And I have what will hopefully be our last batch of clay smelting right now. So once that is done, we will get these walls filled in. For the glass, I'm gonna just use normal glass panes, not dyed or anything. So sort of basic, but nothing over the top. And also on the roof, I am including some small chimneys. I don't know if I already mentioned this or not. I think I only mentioned the campfires. These will not have campfires in them. They're just gonna be here for decoration to break up the roof as well. So just a couple of those polished deep slate tiles and some, or sorry, polished deep slate and some walls on top of each of those. So those will look just like this and we will get a row of polished blackstone slabs across the front. And here is our reservoir tank. I will probably put some water in here, but we will do that in a moment. For now, the roof is finished. 
and this is how we are looking. I'm gonna go grab the rest of those bricks now, and well, I'll leave that dirt there for now. We will get rid of that soon enough. And just in case those are still finishing up, I will just craft some of these panes real quick and we will get all of these filled in. There we go. All right, let me go grab those bricks. Yeah, we should have more than enough here. And we will start filling in with bricks. Now, just as before with this bottom wall, no windows here on this side. I will have a window over on that side, however. We will also have a small window here in the front. We'll get the rest of the stairs put in and our last window right up there in the middle. So I think I still have to do this wall. Yes, let me get up there. And this will be a nice two block wide, two block tall window. Right up here, we will have a small floor, a second floor where we will just have barrels and other storage, but that will serve. I probably could have put the glass in but that's okay. So the next step that we will be doing, well, there's a couple more things actually we need to finish up here on the outside. So we will have some stone brick slabs going across the bottom here, right there. They're just gonna stop because of that wall, but over on the other side, they will extend the full length of the build. So that'll help to break everything up a little bit more. Now it's looking pretty good. It almost looks like a house, but I think we have just enough lack of home feel, I guess, with wood and warmer colors for it to feel more like an industrial building. Plus this large archway here in the middle really sells that look. Let's get some torches placed in before we have any monsters spawning inside. And now we can start work on the interior. So for that second floor, like I said, it's just gonna be a little small area. We will have spruce wood slabs, spruce planks, and I don't have any here. Actually, I don't even know that we have spruce because we may have used it all up in that lumber yard episode. So I will go grab some more. And I just looked at our elytra durability. It is actually about to break. I'm glad I caught that when I did. We will take a visit to our Enderman farm at the end of this build. We shouldn't need it a whole lot more today. So these will be placed on the upper half of these blocks up here so that we can put items on top on that second floor. And it will give us a little more space down below as well. And then we will leave a little gap here off to the side for our stairs. And again, sticking with spruce, these will just extend up to the second floor. We'll put a couple upside down stairs underneath here as well. Let me grab one more. And we have our second floor access, so we can step up here. We'll get a few more torches placed down. Again, we don't need any mobs spawning. Let's fill in our window here, and then I'm gonna grab some more blackstone bricks. We'll start to build up those second floor walls just a little bit more. We're not gonna do a lot of work to them. I just want to get these filled in. Actually, these three spots right here won't even be seen, but I just want to have those filled in anyway so that we don't have any mobs spawning in there or so we don't have to place torches in there as well. We will also have a crafting table. I guess we can place that there. And there was something else I placed right here, another workstation. I don't remember what it was off of the top of my head, but it may come back to me. And then we can grab some wood. Actually, let me just see if I have any barrels. Probably not. I bet we used them all up. Well, we have four. That is a start. I think I need 12 or 14, something along those lines. So what do we have an abundance of? Lots of dark oak wood. So let me grab, well, we don't have any planks. I'll just grab a stack of those logs. We will actually need a little bit more for the rest of the build. Get a stack of that and then we will need birch as well, actually. So I will grab that too. And we'll make a handful of barrels, more than we need, but that's okay. 
I'm also going to grab a cauldron and we will actually place this right under a tripwire hook next to our reservoir as if it was a sink and could function here on the second floor. So these barrels, this will serve as our sand and gravel storage. Of course, right now we could only dream of having that much, but in the future when we actually do and need more storage from actually the gravel storage will fit. This will work for gravel, but of course sand we don't have an abundance of. Hopefully soon enough we will fill all of these barrels up to the top and I will also do the same thing right here with barrels. I just need some more blackstone. There we go, and we can fill in the rest of those barrels. Oh, I actually ran out. I guess I did my math wrong. So, a couple more barrels up here. I'm still forgetting what I had right back there. It still hasn't come to me yet. Maybe it was just another barrel, I'm not sure but we will fill in this top row right up here with some blackstone stairs. And that is pretty much this upstairs level. There's not really any more to be done up here. We're not gonna see it all that much anyway. Now we need to work on this lower level. This is where we are going to turn our concrete powder into concrete itself. And as I said before, we're going to use wood for this since I want to be able to instant mine those concrete blocks. I don't want any stone or anything like that serving as the basin for those concrete blocks. Otherwise, that will get mined as well and then we will have to replace it every time and it would just be a hassle. So we're not going to do it that way. We're gonna stick with wood. It doesn't necessarily match fully, but it will look nice enough. And we are using dark oak wood for the border, which will go all the way around. Underneath the reservoir, it will still just be that same material, the polished deep slate. And then all of these wood blocks will get stripped, except for these three right here which will serve as our steps so we can get out. And then the floor will be stripped birch wood. It will give great contrast with that dark oak and I guess sort of make it look like a loading zone for the concrete powder, I don't know. It's all about making up a story and then really selling it. And these will be stripped as well. There we go, let me make some stairs and get these corners as well. And actually, I think I have, yes I do, some stairs left over that we can place there and there, and some bricks right in here. Perfect, there we go, so we will place our concrete powder right in here. Again, this is nothing mass production, so it's all pretty much manual. And then I still need to make a dispenser, we will put that right there. Put a bucket of water in it, a lever right on top, and we can flick it on and off as we need to make concrete. Again, this is just our little crafting room upstairs where we can store all of our materials and craft the concrete powder that we will be using. And then all that's left outside is just some texturing, getting a little bit more granite into the building itself, and then we will be finished. So we will place the dispenser right up here, and I'm gonna need to get in there and grab that block. There we go. And right above that, we will put a button, otherwise the water will destroy all of the buttons and torches around it, so I kind of have to move those around. And then our water bucket inside of there. So now when we step up, let's say hypothetically we had all of our concrete powder placed down, when we hit that button, the water will pour out and fill in. It will cover all of that concrete powder. We hit that button again. We'll turn off that water stream and then we can step down here, mine up all of our concrete and place down more powder if we need to. I have those last two barrels that we will put right up there. 
and I think we're just about done. So let's do a little bit of texturing real quick. I have some granite and some granite stairs as well. And we're just gonna sprinkle this throughout the build. And I know this wall will not be showing, but I still want to do it because we can see this wall from the inside. We can go ahead and extend our path to the door. And all I have on me right now is tough, so I guess we will use that. Maybe we can grab... We'll go ahead and grab this stone block. We can replace that with tough. And then put that right in there. And let's do... Maybe this andesite right here. Replace that with tough. There we go. So we're, we're kind of cheating, but hey, it works. There, that, yeah, that is just fine. For the door itself, again, I said I wanted to have this arch. As much as I like doors, I like this arch a little bit more. And to sell a nice door look, we're gonna use iron bars and it's gonna look like that is cracked open and we can go inside. I suppose I could try that. I don't like that nearly as much. I think we will just stick with that. I think that is just fine. And then the very last thing, I briefly mentioned this, but I finally picked out our street lamp design. For this, we will be using deep slate bricks along with walls and lanterns, which I'm guessing we probably do not have. But that's okay because we have plenty of iron. And the way this will look, we will have our wall. And this will actually be built up three blocks. And then we will have a solid block on top one more wall on top of the solid block and I'm gonna need a few more walls because those will also extend out in each direction just like this and then the lanterns will be placed right on top and that's the street light it's very simple but I messed around with a bunch of different lights. I think this one best matches our aesthetic that we are going for. I'm gonna build one more over here in this corner. And that is really adding to the look of our whole industrial area. Still debating if I want to continue these into the rest of the town up that way, but I know these definitely fit in to the industrial area very nicely, and that is what we will stick with. Now, the last thing I did say, I want to pay a quick trip to the end to mend our elytra, and then we will call it for the episode. We could probably also use a little bit more XP ourselves as we have not gathered all that much since we had that unfortunate death. And speaking of that, we will pay a visit to a new woodland mansion here in a future episode. Not exactly sure when, it might be next episode, I will just have to see. Again, I'm gonna have to find one on Chunk Base, just because ours burned and all of our maps are just going to point right back to that one. So it's not really gonna be all that convenient for us. So our Elytra is all healed, we are up to level 18. Might as well hit the rest of the tools while I'm here. So we are up to level 22 now, of course, as always, we will leave with a surplus of ender pearls, and that is where we will call it for today's episode. So I really hope you enjoyed building our concrete plant with me. We will make use of this in the future. I don't know how near that future is, but we will use concrete for something at some point. Maybe the Hydro Dam, once we get around to that, in a few episodes we will probably use some concrete for that. I do like light gray concrete, I think it has a lot of great uses, but it just doesn't have any texture, so I'm, I'm never able to really find that many uses in terms of building the side of a building with it. But again, we will just have to see, that will all come in the future. 
If you enjoyed today's episode, definitely hit that thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on content as soon as I publish it. Check the description for some more important information, links, how to contact me, all of that good stuff. And with all of that being said, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.